Yo, what up guys, this is Eclipse from Team Ruthless, and my boy White Wolf 98 wanted me to make the tankiest build possible, and that should be easy enough to do, I believe I have all the heaviest pieces in the game, well I have all the pieces in the game, armor pieces anyways, so, it should be easy enough, I could just sort by weight, he wanted to see the tankiest build ever, so the heaviest helmet in the game, is the Albion, Albion, however you say that. So we're gonna go ahead and throw that on. We're gonna do the heaviest body. Liberator, of course. Uh, I'm gonna put the memory, this don't really matter, but I'm gonna put the memory one on just in case. <laughs> I don't have memory three, yes I do. All right, let's do heaviest arms. Is actually the rocket launcher arms. Guess it makes sense. And the legs. Again, is the liberator. All right, so look at that. Look at that VP. I don't even know if that's the highest VP. But currently, I think this is the heaviest build you can make in terms of just armor pieces. So I'm going to throw on the heaviest weapons in a second. Actually, I want to make sure. I want to make sure of something before I do that. I just wanted to see something. All right, so this is not even, so this is not even the most health I can have. So there's other, so weight does not mean health. I think, I'm sure my defense is probably higher than, probably the highest thing about my build. So that's what I wanted to check. To be honest, if weight equaled, if there was a point of having the heaviest build, already there's some other items with better, better health, I guess. Which is weird to me. That might have just been the helmet, actually. Yeah, see, the shotguns have a lot of VP. Probably because of the shield. Alright, so yeah, the heaviest build doesn't mean you have the most health. Probably not even the most defense. Maybe the most defense, but not the most health. You can see my durability is crazy high. I could probably get it to not 100 if I played around with some stuff. But again, I'm just making the heaviest build. So now we're going to go weapons. Weapons, I can also categorize by weight. And of course, the chrono brakes are the heaviest. Only thing that sucks about the chrono brakes is that I can equip them, but I won't be able to use them. So the ogre break is actually heavier than the ogre break too. I guess that kind of makes sense. Oh, the Raging Gluttony, that's what's kind of crazy. I was for sure. Brinical was going to be heavier. That's kind of crazy. Yeah. So, yeah, this is the heaviest uh, shoulder weapon in the game. Let's check out the heaviest auxiliary weapon. Herms. So I got my speed back, kind of. And then pylons, of course, it would be the chronos brakes. 
Only thing is I wouldn't be able to use these. Now let's check out my weight now. 3,862 pounds, bro. This is a big boy, dog. Let's test them out. Let's test them out in the uh, testing room. I probably won't be able to move. Ooh. Look how slow my stamina go down. I don't even... That's crazy. I feel like he's descending. Okay, never mind. That was just me because my camera ain't there. All right, so my boy's slow. Blink don't take me nowhere, but it don't take no stamina. This is slow as hell, but this is probably the tankiest build in terms of weight you can get. Bro, look how slow this boy is. Now, you can get a little bit more health. I don't know how much health he can max out at with the current gear. But that's about it. So, this video is for you, White Wolf. That's all I wanted to show you. <laughs> and let me know if you meant, actually, now that, now that I'm looking at it, if you wanted to see the most health. Or just the most, the heaviest build you can make. Because right now, this is the heaviest build you can make. I wouldn't recommend using it. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't recommend using this. <laughs> if you do, at least take off the um, Chronos break. Now, you can get around pretty fast with the Herms. I forgot I heard Herms on. So, that does kind of make up for speed. But I pref I don't like Herms. I don't like the limited um, range of your movement when using it. But other than that... If you're pretty good at using Herms, you can probably get around. Just be careful with your stamina. But yeah, this is the heaviest mech in the game. Alright, I'm out. Y'all be safe. Deuces.